Hello kids, my name is Father Eric Ritter, I'm the pastor here at St. Louis Catholic School and Church, and welcome to the, the readings of the day. And today I chose this book because it's one of my favorite books of all time. It's called The Tale of the Three Trees, and it's a wonderful uh, story to it, so I'm going to go ahead and be reading it. It's, uh, it's a traditional folk tale retold by Angela Elwell Hunt, and illustrations by Tim Jonke. So I'm going to be showing you the pictures as well. So, once again, the tale of the three trees. Once upon a time, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. And you see the three little trees up on the, the hill there. One, two, and three. And then, the first little tree looked up at the star, twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I'll be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. And you see where the treasure chest is? You can look in there, zoom in there. And there's the, one of the trees looking up to the stars and he says, I want to be a treasure chest to hold one of the greatest gold, covered with gold and filled with precious stones and the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. And you can see the little stream right here and the little boats that going out into the ocean there. And then the third little tree looked down in the valley below where busy men and busy women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow to all so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes in heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. You see the third tree just wanted to stay there and just be a tree and just stand so tall that everybody could see that he was looking up to, the, to God. Now, years passed and the rains came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. You, see, you can see the woodcutters climbing the mountain up to where the trees are. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall make into a beautiful chest, thought the first tree. I should hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship for the kings. The third tree felt her heart sink. When the last woodcutter looked her way, she stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shiny axe, the third tree fell. You see, all three trees came down, even the one that didn't want to be cut. Now, the first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop. But the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chest. Instead, his work Worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. And you can see the meat made into a feeder. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, 
the one strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. Too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river, he was taken to a little lake. Every day he brought in loads of dead, smelly fish. Here he is into a fishing boat. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was stay on the mountain top and point to God. See all the different beams that has been made into? Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said, and suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. And that treasure, as we know, is Jesus, the baby Jesus. See, that's a, a beautiful Christmas story there. So the little, the little, the little, uh, Feed, feeder major became well, the greatest treasure of them all, the baby Jesus. Now, one evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into an old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace! The storm stopped as quickly as it began. And suddenly, the second tree knew he was carrying the King of Heaven and Earth. So you see Jesus once again. Now he's grown up, and he's a man. And remember the story of Jesus calming the storm. And he said, peace. And the little boat realized he was carrying the greatest king of heaven and earth. On uh, one Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten wood pile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hand to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. And we know that's Jesus carrying his cross. You see, and she felt ugly, and she felt the harshness and cruelty, cruelty of the people there. Then, but on Sunday morning, when the sun rose, and the earth trembled with joy beneath her. The third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. So you see the treasure, the little feeder there, there's the boat. And then, of course, there's the cross. And so, and that was better than being the tallest tree in the world. And there you go. Now, I would love to share a little bit about the story because there's a beautiful message here for everybody. Because we all have dreams. And sometimes those dreams don't come out the way that we want them to. These little trees all had a dream, and they they wanted to hold the greatest treasure. He wanted to be a ship that that had uh, the greatest kings, and he wanted just to stay alone and not be cut. But all three of them 
something different happened to them, but something beautiful happened. So sometimes in our lives, our dreams don't always come out the way that they want, but God has a plan. And I hope that you realize that. God has a plan for each and every one of us. And the question is that we have to be open to it and that we have to be see God in everything. And even in this pandemic that we're in right now, that's been really hard for many of us, especially for our students and our and for our our teachers. You know, this is the way that we had planned on on ending our school year. But you know, God has a plan, and we have to see the good things that have come from from all of these things as well, bringing us closer to our our parents and our siblings, and hopefully bringing us closer to God as well. So, the once again, this is a uh, Father Eric Ritter here at St. Luke's Catholic School and Church, and I just got finished reading to you the tale of the three trees. Amen.